Hello everyone and welcome to Control. Today we'll be going into this game as I said in the... Uh, well, Alan Wake and I don't... I believe I said it in the Minecraft as well. Anyway, uh, we'll be going into this game right about now. I also set up the ray tracing so we'll see if this works and yeah, override. I accidentally messed up on my last try at recording this, so... Good morning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's... different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Okay, then. Hello? Anyone here? I'll be turning down my graphics a tiny bit. It feels a bit laggy. Let's see. Let's go from custom to, let's say, high. And this as well. There we go. That should be fine. And we don't need motion blur. That's obvious. Ray tracing high, that's obviously gonna stay. Um, far objects, that can be medium. Volumetric lighting, shadow resolution, medium. Yeah, those can be medium as well. So let's go. Is that better? It's a bit better. Anyway, this... Here, I want you guys to pay attention to this spot. And also, there is a picture. Also, as you can now see, we can see ourselves in the glass of this picture. It is absolutely beautiful. I just wish that I wouldn't need to turn down my graphics. But oh well. Let's read this thing then. Okay. Federal, Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. The recent accidents have necessi- Necessi- Ah, goddammit. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with these words. Necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. An authorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two, pencils. Anything considered iconic representations 
of an archetypical concept, e.g. rubber ducks, or er, rubber ducks, ketchup bottles, and that's about all of those. Uh, all materials under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrance. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of pol these policies, please notify your supervi supervisor immediately. Ah, oh, God, that's hard to read. Especially considering that there are quite a lot of words that I can't even read too well. And here we have internal lockdown in effect, building lockdown in effect, multiple containment breaches detected, multiple building shifts detected, head of research override, HRA protocol activated. Okay, it's still a bit laggy, but it should be fine. As you can see, we can even see that thing there. But I believe we could actually turn it down to medium as well. Yeah, that's fine. So let's turn this thing medium. There we go. Ray trace. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Uh, okay, that one there. So... More reading? Oh, what fun. Uh, executive Sector OOQ2 Major Staffing Surveillance uh, Redacted Data Center Initiative Construction Redacted Redacted Minor Office Equipment uh, this is expenditure summary, by the way. Uh, minor office equipment, janitorial costs, redacted, mold removal, HQ livability costs. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5 for 5 year comparison chart. See page 9. Okay. And with that, we can continue. And also, it's much better with the lowered effect, but that is incredibly pixelated until you get close to it. Which is weird. And this here is a... our bureau at work. And we are gonna soon see this guy. I just saw him a while ago. When I was playing myself. Uh, that sounded wrong. I meant to say when I was trying to record before. Federal ah. Bureau of Control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Yep, and we still see ourselves in them. Reflection. And reflection of this thing as well. I don't think there is anything hidden here except this thing here apparently. So, security order. Uh, attention all redacted. Redacted a shark in his redacted, although secure redacted permission to redacted following basic protocol redacted shoot to kill redacted. Good luck. I don't know how to say it, but what he said, but oh well. Here we go. Classified. R4 reports. Reminder. Hello, as you all should know by now, R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We are still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.e for your supervisor from your super supervisor. If you if you think you are exempt from filling R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. 
If your R4 requires inter-departmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department heads. Dr. Darling, Miss Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll, they'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. Oh, this is actually going better than before. I'm not making so many mistakes and actually pronounce some of the things Hello? better. Also, this guy, I believe, is voiced by a Finnish person. Which is to say that I'm incredibly... Or, I just like it, since I'm from Finland, Finland as well. It is interesting to me. Hey, so let's me. do this. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, later, you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you are. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Okay, so she was just talking about face and uh, something about face. And then this guy said something about face as well. I'm actually thinking that this guy here can read mimes or something. Anyway, also his name is, or he is named after a mythology in Finland. I don't remember about the mythology too much, but there is some interesting mythology in Finland as, Finland as well. Although not as known as some of the pantheons out there. Some of the other pantheons, but as you can see now that we are back here at the start, which we did not actually walk backwards, but we came in here, we can now see this place here. That wasn't here before. And here we have a document, classified. So, uh, visitors evalu evaluation. Uh, how to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal, Federal Bureau of Control. By the way, that's FBC. Uh, established in 1964 as a part of, as part of an effort to strengthen government r relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and, excel, uh, and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation, nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask, ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you here from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and they'll need to leave. If their answer seems redacted, escort them to, private, to a private room and there perform the gunner's psychological assessment, assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, See the provided scoring sheet, then redacted immediately. Remember, there is no such thing as too suspicious. I'm assuming that 
that redacted means something bad. Anyway, this place is incredibly like the SCP Foundation. And you are gonna learn about it as we go continue in the game. Also, I'm gonna go act real quick check out that bathroom there. Uh, nothing new here. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, we came, uh, we went into here, but we went this, uh, this way, I believe. Now it's this way. And we come back to the start of the place. Oh well, let's go into the elevator then. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Okay. And right now it's just showing about the FBC. Just a little bit. It is an interesting game. I can't have any copyrighted music in this, so... And there are quite a bit of interesting music in this game. Uh, if you want to hear them as well while playing this game, then buy it yourself. Trust me, it's worth it. It is a beautiful game. And things keep getting weirder in this section. Control. That's the name of the game. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay, so this director Zacharia Trench. Okay. And there is an annoying sound here, but oh well. Uh, we are gonna take this thing, get out, and read it. There we go. Correspondence. I believe it's this thing. Uh, reminder. Re uh, drafting any public... Drafting any public facing material while penning any notifications of death related to the willow um, of please adhere to the following guidelines words phrases to use in the service of his her country regret proud pride will be remembered and just a moment oh god my throat itching like crazy Oh well. Uh, words, phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apologies, sorry. Also, that of there means altered world event. Yeah. There is another word that we're soon gonna learn. Wait, can... no, yeah, that's locked. So let's see this room. Nothing. Then the other room. Oh, there is another... Uh, this guy again. And nothing. Let's take this thing there, then. Um, trench, do not disturb. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them. Barbara, not a single one. Trench. Okay. So, my throat is still itching like crazy. But we'll continue then. There was a strange noise. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? This thing over here. It's an interesting weapon. Look at it. So we'll pick it up. And there goes the 
poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Okay, so I'm not gonna read that things and things because, well, they are fast and I'm a slow reader. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So we'll be taking this thing down, and it's absolutely beautiful how it does it, breaking the ground and all. Let's take it. Beautiful. Okay, now I have a gun. Yeah, we do have a gun. Destroy the copies, targets. Uh, I couldn't read it. There we go, one down. There we are. Oh, thank you. So, yeah, it. As you can see, there is the ammo right below the side there. Oh, you know what I mean. And it keeps reloading. So here we have some enemies. Oh, this. Ah, got me. Oh, I'm a terrible shot. Also, because these guys move irregularly. There we go. Another one. There we are. And then we go here. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. I'm assuming these things here. These blue balls. Small ones. Oh well, let's see. Pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Yeah, this gun is an object of Things power. Things are down outside. Is it safe to go? Yeah, it is safe to go, but let's see this first. Research and director's photograph. This guy here is the Zachariah Trench. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. Okay, so case files, service weapon, service weapon, OOP-1, uh, key, uh, no unique proce uh, containment procedures, no unique procedures required, description, para-utility. The object's form is variable. When bound, to an, when bound, the object allows para utilitarians to redacted. This object must be bound 
by individuals seeking the role of redacted, the object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, then uh, the applicant is terminated. The pro uh, this process is dictated by the redacted, that is, by the way, the guys that we were just listening to, the guys that we are, I'm not reading. So their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis redacted many forms throughout history. Redacted. Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varunashtra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of the, that event. If this is the case, redacted, see Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 .1 for more details. Okay, so OOP is the object of power which we are going to be seeing in this game every now and then, which are the pre basically the same as SCP objects. Anyway, let's see. Multimedia. Uh, objects of power. <coughs> objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, Head of Research, Federal Bureau of Control. I do believe the right term would have been terminated. Anyway. We can leave this place then. Yeah, I just saw this, so I'm not really scared. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You. Oh, thank you. That was. horror. Okay, that. No, whoa. Oh. Okay, I'm missing incredibly a lot. Okay, reload, 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 and there we go. His card. Let's see. Uh, field research on the His entity. His corrupted security card. Confidential. Summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The His was quick to take action to take advantage of this fact. His card use the standard issue bullpup rifle. They carry prior to corruption. Oh god. Oh god. Anyway, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns, they have no observed para natural abilities. With the exception of certain his guards are protected by a shield of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets. Uh, is this shield result of prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the his in target individuals with combat training? Does the his have that level of cognition? Does it utilize hosts to uh, host for tasks they are best suited to. Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. 
These are all questions for later. Though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for full report. Okay. So those guys are the his. Uh, wait, wait just a moment before we continue. Was it here? His card. Something about resonance. I have no idea. Uh, why is it called the his? It's some kind of a resonance, so it should at least have some kind of an R there, right? Oh well, it doesn't matter. But we can break just about anything in this game. Except these things. For whatever reason. And here is a... Yeah. Jesse Faden. The director. Already pictures of us. Although we've yet to take any pictures. So in my mind that's incredibly weird at least. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. Okay. The hotline. Says the Okay. Oh, sure. We'll reach the outline. Oh, what? It... It disappeared. Oh, well. Let's do this. God damn. So many misses. And... There we are. Another guy down. There we are, and... Oh, God. There we are, again. Wait, was that all? It was. You can kill these guys, by the way. They do take a few shots, but... You, can, you still can kill them. I don't know what they are about, but... Anyway, let's see. Uh, here... No, wait, here. We can apparently damage while low health. 43%. Okay, sure, why not? Let's see. Um, executive meeting minutes. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control agenda items for next executive meeting. Rising cost of of response. Update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review, new supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please pre uh, come prepared. Thank you for your time. Okay, so here we have another picture of us, which is incredibly weird, and I'm gonna destroy all of them. I'm kidding. Instantly backing out of that. I'm sure that I'm gonna miss some and... That's not gonna be fun. So let's listen to this. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building... So that is interesting. I believe these guys would be considered that kind of a thing. Although they aren't really objects of power. But oh well, here we have a document as well. Let's see, dinner reservations. Uh, dinner reservation at 7 p.m. at Chez Ambre. Wife will meet you there, don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at the lobby reception. 
Remember, she is turning 46. Okay, so who is this note for? None of it show. Okay, good, good. So, anything else here then? I'm not seeing anything, but those guys keep talking. So, let's open this thing. And there is another. And open this. And get some weird energy recovery thing. Oh, that's actually good. And then we'll listen or uh, read this thing. Marshal uh, of inspections. Uh, for Marshal's eyes only. Confidential. Marshal, we checked out the last of in Dulleth. Wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We are. Oh, we need to find a better way to sort out, to sort the fake orbs from the real thing, things, or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway. We are en route, en route to Sherman Ranch. Next on our uh, on the li list, God damn it. This is breaking my head. Uh, let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Ooh, that hurts to read. Anyway, let's go. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Yeah, it's our the enemy. Contagious. Okay, before we listen to any more of that, uh, urban legends. Summary: Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Chang's archetypes. We recognize that a certain redacted inform, informed by our own uh, redacted and popular, popularized by our media. Oh God. We have additional, uh, we have additionally pro proven that urban legends can be even be artificially uh, redacted in popular cultures or uh, culture using redacted. Our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena on, uh, contain clear elements of popularized folklore of that only occur on uh, redacted a pair of scissors that continue uh, consume human redacted through two punctures on the redacted. Oh God, my throat is just still. These details. Details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to file uh, 4-93-6942 for full report. Okay, that's why I did not like find last time. Melody that makes you hum it over and over. Okay, and here we have a radio. It doesn't work because we have, or I have turned off the copyrighted music. Anyway, let's go. This is a first kind of a uh, mini boss. There we go. Ah, can't tell me that I'm a terrible shot. There we go. No! Oh! 
There we are. Oh, that's close. Okay. The control point. So we'll do that now. Help me fix it. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, we are. Are you still sane? No, we are not. Anyway, I wanted to say that thank you for watching, and I'll be continuing with that later on. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and share this video as well, as that would help out this channel quite a lot. Anyway, uh, it's been an interesting start for this game, but I believe that. This is the end for this part, so... Oh, there is outfits as well. Now, oh, right now we only have a normal civilian, civilian outfit. So, I'm gonna be continuing the next part, so... See ya! Bye!